Hello, I'm Brad Dutz, and welcome to the V-Drum Lessons. This is the Handsonic 15. There's 15 pads right here at your fingertips. Five small here, five small here, and then five bigger ones in the middle. A ribbon controller you can slide on with your left hand, or ribbon controller on the right side. Then the D-beam controller, which is like a light beam, you can break and, and trigger a sound there. I would like to show you a few different exercises and patterns I like to work on on my hand sonic to build strength in both hands. And since I have 15 pads right here close together, I can start spreading the patterns around the pads to create different grooves and sounds. I'll be referring to finger one, two, and three that way. Thumb's usually separate. I'll do some other things with my thumb as well, but just as pointing, you know, one, two, and three, those are my fingers. Sometimes I'll even use four, the small finger. Another nice combination to get six or three is going from the outside, three, two, one, three, two, one. There's a nice way to get a quick rougher roll by a quick 3-2-1 or 3-2-1 in the other hand. You want to always practice both to try to keep each hand building a strength. So here's 3-2-1 in my right going to my left. After I practice that, I want to do the other side. 3-2-1 in my left going to the right. And again with the hand sonic, we can change that by being on the edge. And then after that, following the strokes with single strokes. It's another good way to practice. Another very common drum stroke or finger stroke, you could do a paradiddle, which is left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right. Now on the hand sonic, I like to do first finger, first finger, left, right, and then coming back, the left hand is going to be two and three together. And then coming back to the right side, two and three together. So we go left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right. Again. First, first, two, two, right, first, first, two, two, so. Or up here. Also spreading your fingers apart. really nice about having the pads close together. Now we can get several sounds with the paradiddle. That's just by spreading the paradiddle around to different pads, you can come up with different grooves.